dear students yesterday in the previous class that uh, we have learnt what is the meaning of directional derivative right so we have defined what is the directional derivative and we were solving some problems so let us continue with that so what was the definition of directional derivative so we had directional derivative given by so let me uh, write it on the board so what is the directional derivative so it is given by what grad phi dot n cap so i asked you like to remember so what is this so we have a direction n cap so it gives and this crudely you can remember right so this is the derivative so directional derivative so just remember in the uh, form of like uh, the formula right grad phi dot n grad phi dot n so given any question what we need to find the directional derivative we need two things what is that grad phi so given a function phi always we can find grad phi at the given point okay so that is one step then the next stage is what n cap so n cap normally varies from question to question so read the question and always set it as a two part first part grad phi and the second part n cap so in the last class we learned some questions we lost all some question let us continue with that so let us take the next example so you can take down this uh, question find find the directional derivative of x square plus y square plus z square in the direction of the normal to the surface x y square z cube at 1 1 1 okay so just you can um, make a note of this question now let us find how to find the directional derivative so what did i tell first thing is find out what is the surface the first surface that is phi so what is our phi find the directional derivative of x square plus y square plus z square so we have in the direction of so normal to the surface at 1 1 1 okay so what do we need we need grad phi so let us find grad phi now again how what you remember the definition of grad phi it is do phi by do x i plus do phi by do y j plus do phi by do z k correct so it's a vector now what is that we need we need to find grad phi so we have the function phi so differentiate this and find the substitute in this right now what do we have first thing phi is the expression what is do phi by do x so take this expression and differentiate partially with respect to x so what will be the differentiation of this with respect to x it is 2xi plus differentiation of phi with respect to y will be 2y because x and z is treated as constant right so differentiation of x square with respect to y will be 0 differentiation of y square is 2y and differentiation of z square with respect to y is 0 partial derivatives plus do phi by do z similarly what do you get this is 2z into k now what is this grad phi is this expression but at what is the point point is given as 1 1 1 we know the point as 1 1 1 so therefore grad phi at 1 1 1 will be what so substitute x equal to 1 y equal to 1 z equal to 1 so what will happen to this 2i plus 2j plus 2k right So x is one, y is one, z is one. So therefore, this reduces to grad phi is equal to two i plus two j plus two k. So we got this expression for grad phi. Call this as one. Now to find the directional derivative, what do we need? Grad phi dot n cap. Now the next step is we have to find the unit vector n cap. But what is the given to us in the direction of normal to the surface? So let us read the next part of the question. Find the directional derivative of x square plus y square plus z square in the direction normal to the surface. Now the next surface is what? Let us denote that surface as psi. So the next surface is what? X, y square, z cube. So it is normal to the surface. Do you remember? Normal is always given by grad of that function, right? So grad psi gives the normal to that function, normal to that surface, right? So let us find out grad size. So instead of phi, we have size. Similar expansion, right? So it is same as instead of phi, this grad size will be do psi by do x, do psi by do y, do psi by do z. So what is do psi by do x? Y square z cube i plus what is do psi by do y? So it will be differentiate y square. Two y it is two x y y z cube. Differentiation of y square that is partial derivative of y square is two y. Into j plus differentiation of z cube partial derivative. What do you get? Three x y square z cube into k. So this is normal to the surface psi. Okay, but what we need? We need we need 
at 1 1 1 x is equal to 1 y equal to 1 z is equal to 1. So, when I put x y z 1, so this becomes i plus 2 j plus 3 k. So, what is this? This is the next surface normal normal to the surface psi. Now, but what we need? We need n cap the unit vector of this. So, how do you define a unit vector of any vector? Vector by its magnitude. So, what we should find? Now, let us find out n cap which is defined as let me use this. So, I need this I will retain. So, what will be your n cap? So, your n cap will be so grad a unit vector by divided by its magnitude correct. So, we need n cap where we have grad phi grad psi. So, this will be equal to what i plus 2 j plus 3 k divided by magnitude of that vector is always square root of 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. So, totally what do you get finally? So, 4 plus 1 5, 5 plus 9 is 14 i plus 2 j plus 3 k divided by root of 14 right. So, this is our n cap. Now, what is that we need? We need the directional derivative. So, what is the directional derivative given by grad psi that is phi dot n cap. So, we have the value of grad phi and n cap is here. So, take the dot product between these two. So, what will be that? So, I will just write here. Now, so this is same as grad phi is this expression dot so, this along with dot n cap, n cap is what i plus 2 j plus 3 k divided by root 14. So, take the dot product between these two vector right. So, 2 and the 2 plus 2 2 is a 4 plus 3 2 is a 6 divided by root 14 which is nothing but 12 divided by root 14. So, this will be our directional derivative. Okay. So, dear students, it is a, a very simple uh, problem. Only thing is you should pay attention to n cap. Normally, grad phi will be straightforward. They will give the function that is the surface of the function phi. That is easy to find the grad phi, but only that n cap, the unit vector will change. Okay. So, always take care to find unit vector carefully. Now, let us learn the next topic that is maximum directional derivative. It is also a directional derivative, but where it is maximum directional derivative where it will be maximum. Okay. So, we have this the directional derivative will be maximum in the direction grad phi. So, what will be our n cap? So, the direction is grad phi and the maximum value of directional derivative is now just observe. So, directional derivative is given by what grad phi dot n cap. So, what is that n cap? It is in the direction of grad phi itself. It is a normal to the surface. Now, it is defined grad phi dot that is a unit vector along the um, uh, normal to the surface. Now, grad phi dot grad phi a vector a dot vector a will be always absolute value of that whole square. So, when you divide this you get grad phi. So, again it is the magnitude of this grad phi. So, see this it is the modulus of grad phi that is the magnitude. So, what is the maximum directional derivative given by? It is a very simple expression nothing to uh, find out it is only grad phi. So, just read it again the directional derivative will be maximum in which direction? The direction is given by grad phi. So, uh, please understand this. The direction is given by grad phi and what is its maximum value? The value is given by the absolute value, the magnitude of grad phi. So, two things you have to remember. Maximum, di the direction is given by grad phi and its magnitude is given by magnitude of grad phi. So, this maximum directional derivative, we also call it as normal derivative. So, the question will be either maximum directional derivative or they mask it as normal only simply normal derivative. Okay. So, this is a very simple definition again. So, you should remember that. So, now let us solve some simple problems on this uh, maximum directional derivative. So, let us take this example find the maximum directional derivative of. So, again a surface a function is given at some point 1 minus 2 minus 1. So, what we do normally? So, whenever they give the function we always denote it as. So, what type of function is this? This is a scalar or vector. So, no i j k right therefore, it is a scalar function. So, scalar function how do you denote? Always we denote as phi. So, take the given function as phi. Now, I need directional derivative it is maximum only, but let us find grad phi first. Again with the same definition dou phi by dou x. What is dou phi by dou x? Differentiate with respect to x partial derivative. So, what do you get? 
partial derivative of this will be 3 to x square derivative x square is 2 x. So, 2 into 3 is 6 x y into i plus dou phi by dou y. Just observe y is present in both the terms. Therefore, what do you get? 3 x square is constant. Differentiation of partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus z square is constant. Differentiation of y cube is 3 y square z square j and dou phi by dou z. So, there is no z in this term. Therefore, the derivative of this will be 0 and the derivative of this term will be what? With respect to z. So, y cube is constant. Difference of z square is 2 z into k. So, this is grad phi. So, it is always it is easy to do, do the partial derivative. So, grad phi we get this is the expression. Now, what is that? At 1 minus 2 minus 1, we have to evaluate this grad phi at what point? 1 minus 2 minus 1, always it is will be in the order x, y, z. These are the values of x, y, z. So, substitute in this. So, we get grad phi as 12 i minus 9 j minus 16 k. What is this? This is the direction in which the dire, uh, dire, directional derivative is maximum. This is the direction. But what we need? Maximum directional derivative. The value of that will be take the absolute magnitude of that. Grad phi will be. So, square root of 12 square is what? 144 plus minus 9 whole square will be 81, then 16 square is 256. So, if you add this, you get square root of 481. So, this is the maximum value of the directional derivative. Okay? So, this is square root of 481. It is a very simple uh, what you call as uh, problem, because we do not have to evaluate anything more, only grad find its magnitude. Okay? Similarly, let us take a simple example, one more example. Find the normal derivative of log of x square plus y square plus z square at 1 1 1. So, again what is that? So, the given function is a scalar function denote that as a phi. Now, what do we need to find? Grad phi definitely no, the normal derivative is nothing but maximum directional derivative. This is one other name of maximum no, uh, directional derivative. Okay? So, grad phi will be dou phi by dou x i plus dou phi by dou y j plus dou phi by dou z k. Okay? So, now what do you get here? Dou phi by dou x will be differentiate this. What is the differentiation of log x? Differentiation of log x is 1 by x. So, 1 by this. Since it is other than x, we have to differentiate this again partially with respect to x. So, what happens? Differentiation of x square is 2 x. Y square is 0, z square is 0. So, finally, we get 2 x divided by x square plus y square plus z square into i. Similarly, dou phi by dou y. So, differentiation of log x, this is 1 by x square plus y square plus z square and differentiation of this bracket will be with respect to y will be. So, this is 0, this is 2 y and this is 2 z sorry 0. right? So, therefore, what do you get? 2 y by this term into j plus now I have to differentiate this with respect to z. So, how do you, how do you differentiate again same way 1 by log, 1 by x differentiation of log x is 1 by x same way this 1 divided by this term into the partial derivative of this entire term with respect to z. So, it will be 2 z. So, we got the value of grad phi as this expression. Now, at what point we are to evaluate at x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1. So, substitute in this. Substitute the value of x, y, z as 1. So, what do you get? 2 divided by 1 plus 1 is 3, similar 2 by 3 i. Similarly, this terms will become 2 by 3. So, just check. So, this is the direction in which the directional derivative is maximum. This gives the direction. So, whenever we have the vectors, this gives the direction, right? i, j, k. Now, what is its magnitude? Magnitude is given by that magnitude of grad phi, which is nothing but sum of the squares of this 4 by 9 plus 4 by 9 for plus 4 by 9. So, which is nothing but 2 by root 3. So, it is a very simple uh, uh, definition maximum directional derivative. Let us take one more a, a different kind of uh, question and the under this. So, the question reads like this the directional derivative of okay, the, you mentioned the function phi is given by a x y square plus b y z plus c x cube z square at this point. Now, what is that? They are given the function as a maximum magnitude of 32 units. So, they are given the magnitude units in the direction parallel to y axis find a, b, c. So, the unknown, there are three unknowns a, b, c. We have to find this unknowns, but what is given to us? It has a maximum magnitude of 32 units. So, the magnitude is already given to us. We do not have to find, but we need to find the unknown constants a, b, c in the direction parallel to y axis. Parallel to y axis means it is same as along y axis. right? So, let us see how to find these a, b, c's. 
Now, what is given to us? Phi is given as a x y square plus b y z plus c x cube z square. Now, let us find its grad phi. So, when you find grad phi dou phi by dou x. So, what is the dou phi by dou x? A x is a is constant, y square is constant, difference of x is 1. So, therefore, it will be a y square plus. So, there is no x here. So, therefore, it is 0 plus here x is there c and z square is constant differentiation of x cube is 3 x square. So, 3 c z square into x square into i. So, this is the derivative of dou phi by dou x the phi differentiation of phi with respect to x. Similarly, dou phi by dou y. So, dou phi by dou y just check there is no y term here y term is only in the first two terms. So, differentiate this a x into differentiation of y square is 2 y therefore, it is 2 a x y plus the derivative of this term will be b z is constant differentiation of y is 1 into j right. So, this is the derivative dou phi by dou y similarly plus dou phi by dou z. So, just observe there is no z term in this the z is appearing only these two term. So, first term the derivative of first term is 0 plus b y is constant derivative of z will be what 1 and what about this c x cube derivative of z square is 2 z therefore, it will be 2 c x cube into z right. So, the into k ok. So, we got the value of grad phi. Now, what is that they are given the point as minus 1 1 2. So, let us substitute and simplify this x is 1 y is x, x is minus 1 y is 1. So, a into 1 will be a plus 3 c z square is how much 4. So, 4 3 is a 12 12 c into x square minus 1 square is plus 1. So, finally, it will be 12 c a plus 12 c into i plus. So, again substitute the value of x and y here 2 a into minus 1 into 1. So, it becomes minus 2 a plus. So, z is 2. So, it will be 2 b into j plus b y y is 1. So, it will become b then 2 c z x cube 2 c into z is 2. So, 2 to the 4 c x cube minus 1 whole cube will be minus 1. So, finally, what remains minus 4 c. So, we got the value of grad phi in terms of a b c. Now, a b c are unknown we have to find that. So, we, we, we have the function phi. So, based on the given values we have obtained the value of grad phi. Now, what is that they are given? The maximum value of directional derivative is along grad phi we know this and it is given that it is along y axis. Along y axis means what is the vector along y axis? That is vector j. See along x axis we take it as i, along y we take it as j and along z we take it as k. So, since it is parallel to our along y axis, so the i and k must be the coefficient of i and k must be 0 right. So, what is the coefficient of i and k? Just check the coefficient of i is a plus 12 c, coefficient of b is b minus 4 c. So, these two terms should be 0. So, let us check what is that. So, a plus 12 c equal to 0 and b minus 4 c equal to 0. So, what is our aim? Finally, we have to find the unknown. So, we got two equations. Let us find out from this a is equal to minus 12 c and b is equal to 4 c. So, now what happens now? Since i and coefficient of i and k are 0, what will be the value of grad phi? Just check grad phi the coefficient of i is 0. So, this term is 0, this term is 0. See, you can observe this, this is 0 and this is 0. What will be the value of grad phi? So, the value of grad phi will be only the jth component, this term, the middle term, right? So, therefore, so the value of grad phi is minus 2a plus 2b into j. Now, let us find its magnitude, right? So, what will be its magnitude? Just it is a square, square root of coefficient square. So, I, I, there is no ith component, there is no kth component, only the square of this minus 2a plus 2b whole square and they are given this value as 32. So, if you read that, see it is they, they are given that it has a maximum magnitude of 32 units. So, it is already given to us the magnitude is 32 units. So, what we do? So, we equate we take this value as 32. Now, there is a square root and square. So, it will get cancelled. What we get the equation minus 2 a plus 2 b equal to 32. So, there were 3 unknowns a b c. So, we have one equation what is that a equal to minus 12 c b equal to 4 c and the next relation is minus 2 a plus 2 b equal to 32. So, we had 3 unknowns. Now, with 3 equation we have got solve these two either you can use your calculator or can you can directly solve. So, all the 3 if you solve, so we get the value of a b c as a is equal to minus 12, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 1. 
So, this is the final answer for the given question. What is that question? So, it has a maximum magnitude of 32 units, find the value of A, B, C and the direction given is parallel to y axis. Now, similarly we can find some more questions, some more problems. So, let us solve it on the board. Now, you can just, I uh, will just dictate, you can take down in which direction from the point, in which direction from the point 1, 3, comma 2, the directional derivative of, the directional derivative of 2 x z minus y square is maximum. So, they are given the function, right, and the point, they were asking us to find the direction, right. So, which direction? The direction is nothing but grad phi. So, this is our phi, okay. So, to find the maximum directional derivative, we need phi and we need a point. So, we have both and what is the maximum directional derivative? What you have to find? You have to find grad phi. So, what is grad phi? So, dou phi by dou x, what is that? 2 z. So, there is no x in this, therefore, the derivative will be 0. So, 2 z into i plus dou z by dou y. So, dou z by dou y is what? Minus 2 y. So, it becomes minus 2 y j and dou phi by dou z. So, z is not present in the second term. So, the derivative of this term will be what? 2 x i j k, correct? Now, grad phi is done, right? 2 z i minus 2 y j plus 2 x k. Now, let us evaluate this at 1, 3, comma 2. So, what will be grad phi? So, we have the value as 1, 3, 2, substitute in this z is 2. So, 2, 2 is a 4 i, 4 i minus 2 y, 2 into y value is 3, 2, 3 is a 6 j plus x value is 1. So, the 40 get 2 into k. So, what does it give? this is the direction. So, is the direction in which it is maximum. So, this gives the direction. So, again what is the question? You have to find its magnitude. So, what will be its magnitude given by? So, grad phi will be equal to, grad phi will be equal to square root of these terms. So, what is that? Some sum of the squares. 4 square is 16 plus minus 6 whole square is 36 plus 2 square is 4, right? So, always the magnitude is given by what? Square root of sum of the squares of the coefficients of i, j, k. So, what do you get here? So, it will be 36 plus 4 is 40, 40 plus 16 is root 56. So, this is the magnitude. It is a very simple definition. So, direction is always given by grad phi and if you want the magnitude, take the magnitude of that and you get this, right? So, it is a very simple uh, question. Right. Now, uh, dear students, this actually covers one unit like what we are learning now. Now, take the next question. Find A, B, C. Find A, B, C. So, that the directional derivative of A x y square plus B y z plus C z square x cube at 1, 2, minus 1 at 1, 2, minus 1 as magnitude of 64 units, as magnitude of 64 units in the direction of, in the direction parallel to z axis, in the direction parallel to z axis. So, it is a very simple question. Again, in the similar way, uh, what I explained in the previous question, find the values of A, B, C they are given the surface or the function at this point and the magnet maximum magnitude is how much? 64 in the direction parallel to z axis. So, just like what we learnt, right, just observe this question same way, right. So, in the same, same fashion, let us uh, uh, derive this problem also. So, what is that they are given? It is the point is, the point is 1, 2, minus 1. Correct. The point is 1, 2, minus 1 and the function is this. So, on the same lines, let us find out, call it as phi. Call this as phi. Okay. So, what we need? We need to find grad phi. So, find grad phi. Now, again remember, what are the unknowns we have to find? A, B, C. So, if 3 unknowns, we need 
three relations. So, let us find out the three relations in A, B, C. Now, what is that grad phi? Grad phi is again dou phi by dou x. So, just observe where x is present. x is present in two terms. So, let us differentiate this partially. So, what do you get? A y square plus. So, differentiation of this will be 0. Differentiation of this will be 3 c z square into x square. Just observe this is the partial derivative of phi with respect to x into i plus then dou phi by dou y. What is dou phi by dou y? y is present in these two terms, y is present in these two terms, right. So, we have this term again. So, again actually this is the same problem like what we have done, right. So, this will be what? So, this will be uh, we get 2 a x y plus b z into k plus plus what you get here. So, similarly differentiate b y plus differentiation of z square will be 2 c z into x cube into k correct. So, we have this grad phi. So, now at what is the value? Value is 1 2 minus 1. The value is 1 2 minus 1. So, let us take x is equal to 1 right and y is equal to 2 and z is equal to minus 1 right. So, I think I think you have given minus 2 ok. So, the point is 1 minus 2 and minus 1. So, it is 1 2 minus 1 only sorry because the value is 1 2 minus 1 only. So, what do you get here? x is equal to 1, y is 2. So, y is 2 means 2 square is 4. What do you get? 4 a plus. So, z is minus 1 therefore, z square is plus 1, x square is x is 1 therefore, this is also 1. So, it becomes 3 c i. Just check this. So, I am substituting the values for x y z plus 2 a into x y. x is 1, y is 2. So, therefore, what will happen to this? 2 2 is a 4 a correct x is 1 y is 2. So, 1 into 2 is 2, 2 2 is a 4 a plus b into z, z is minus 1 therefore, it becomes minus z into this is j, j plus ok. Now, next is b into y, what is the value of y? y is 2. So, 2 y, 2 y plus 2 c z x cube c z, z is minus 1 x is 1. So, it becomes minus 2 c into k. Just observe this, we got the value of grad phi ok. So, at x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, z is equal to minus 1. Now, what is that they give 1? So, you have to find parallel to this z axis. So, parallel to z axis means what is the coordinate 0? i component coefficient of coefficient of i and j. So, k, z axis is represented by what? k right. So, the coefficient of i j will be equal to 0. So, if you take coefficient of i and j to be equal to 0, what do you get? 4 a plus 3 c equal to 0 and 4 a. So, this is what b? 4 a minus b equal to 0. So, we got two equations now right. So, we need one more equation to find the three unknowns. So, what is the, how do you get the one more unknown? Now, just observe. Right, right. So we have two unknowns. Now, what is that? Ith coefficient is zero. Jth coefficient is zero. What will be your grad phi? Your grad phi will be only this term, two y minus two c k. Now they are given the maximum magnitude of maximum magnitude of sixty four units. So therefore, what's the magnitude of this? Grad phi will be square root of uh, this is what uh, 2, this is uh, I think uh, ok. So, uh, this will be I think uh, this is uh, what I raised 2 b ok, okay, just a minute I will just check that b y right. So, it is b 2 b minus 2 c ok. So, 2 b minus 2 c now this will be 2 b minus 2 c whole square. So, grad phi will be 2 b minus 2 c whole square. So, just check square root and square will get cancelled. So, this will become 2 b 
minus 2 c. So, but what is this equal to? They are given this equal to 64, right. So, therefore, what do you get from here? b minus c equal to 64. Just check this, right. 4 a minus b equal to 0, 4 a plus 3 c equal to 0 and b minus c is equal to 64. So, finally, what we have to do? We have to solve for a, b and c. We have to solve for a, b and c. So, solve these three equations. Solve these, these three equations. Substitute in any one of them, you can eliminate. So, you can eliminate between these two. So, uh, subtract these two. What do you get? 4 a, 4 a will get cancelled. So, 3 c, just observe. I will subtract these two, okay, because a I can eliminate easily. So, I will cancel. So, what do you get? 3 c plus b equal to 0. So, when I subtract these two, this minus this, 4 a, 4 a will get cancelled. 3 c minus of this will become minus into minus will be plus b equal to 0. And what is the other equation we have? b minus c equal to 64, this equation, right. Now, we have two variables and two unknowns. So, therefore, what you do? Now, since these two have the same coefficient, let me subtract this. When you subtract, what do you get? 3 c plus c is 4 c is equal to 64 or c is equal to 60 by 4 is 1 by sorry 64 by 4 which is 4 ones are 4 16 ok. So, 4 6 are 24. So, c is 16 right. Now, similarly substitute and find out the value of a. So, let us use this 4 a plus 3 into 16 equal to 0. So, 4 a is equal to how much it is 16 3 is a 48. So, minus 48 a is equal to 48 by 2 4 is minus 12. So, a is minus 12. So, you can substitute what we need. We got the value of c and we got the value of a. We need the value of b. So, take this equation. 4 a minus b equal to 0. So, what do you get? 4 into minus 12 minus b equal to 0 or b is equal to 48 minus 48. So, we got the value of a, b, c, right. So, always you have to remember some of the basics like if it is 3 unknowns, we need 3 equations. So, when we get 3 equation, either you can use the calculators to solve the equations, ok, simultaneous equations. Right. Now, dear students, this is uh, like a very simple uh, unit. Normally, the questions uh, in the exam will be divided as per the units. So, one unit in vectors which covers velocity, acceleration, that was the first part. Then, what is grad phi? So, in grad phi, do you remember we solved the questions on normal, normal to the surfaces, angle between two normals, right. Then, we had directional derivative just to revise. Right. So, we had the position vector, right. So, uh, this, this if you if you remember these basics, so it, it covers almost one unit, right. So, position vector, then this velocity and tangential vector, both either you can take it as a velocity or it is a tangential vector. So, I have to remember this v is equal to dr by dt and acceleration is d square r by dt square and important definition what did you learn? Grad phi. Right. And again, what, is, what you have to remember for this? The geometrical interpretation that is geometrically, it is a normal to the surface. This is a very important uh, property you should remember. Then, we, we, we add to what is that angle between two surfaces is given by cos theta is equal to grad phi 1 in dot grad phi 2 divided by its magnitude and directional derivative grad phi dot n cap. So, and maximum directional derivative is grad phi. So, if you remember these points are the three, these definitions, right. So, it almost covers one unit, one unit of 20 marks. So, always uh, make sure you remember the formulas. Along with the formulas, you remember its geometrical interpretation. It will be very easy to solve the problem. So, you can always uh, uh, better to always keep revising the formulas. Now, since uh, since uh, this will be the, I mean for this unit, this will be the last uh, session. So, I just want to have some more problems on angle between two surfaces because uh, we had solved one, one few problems. Let us solve some more problems on angle between two surfaces. So, what is that angle between two surfaces? So, we have cos theta is equal to grad phi 1 by its magnitude, right. 
So, like we, we had solved already the problems, let us just briefly revise this. Okay. So, you can take one question on this uh, angle between two surfaces. Okay. Now, let me dictate that, show that the surfaces, show that the surfaces 4 x square y plus z to the power of 4 equal to 12 and, and 6 x square minus y z equal to 9 x. So, where they are given the two surfaces, show that the surfaces 4 x square y plus z to the power of 4 equal to 12 and 6 x square minus y z equal to 9 x intersect orthogonally at 1 minus 1 2. So, just observe that given two surfaces, we have to show that these two surfaces intersect orthogonally. What do you mean by orthogonally? That means, they intersect at 90 degree. So, how do you prove that the curves intersect orthogonally using this result? So, 9 theta is 90 degree. So, what happens? Cos 90 is 0. So, when you cross multiply this will become 0. What is the condition for orthogonality? Grad phi 1, grad phi 2 dot grad phi 1 dot grad phi 2 should be equal to 0. So, we make use of that condition. So, what do we show that now? For these two surfaces, okay, for these two surfaces, so what do we show now? Grad phi 1 dot grad phi 2 equal to 0. So, the dot product between these two normals, the dot product between these two normals at this point will be 0. So, it is enough if we show that the dot product between these two is 0 to show that these two intersect orthogonally, these two surfaces intersect orthogonally, right. Now, what do we do? So, we have two surfaces, let us call it as phi 1 and this as phi 2, correct. So, if you want you can take this as minus 9 x and minus 12, okay. Now, let us find what is that grad phi 1 at this point and grad phi 2 at this point. So, let us evaluate that. Now, what do you get grad phi 1? So, grad phi 1 will be dou phi by dou x. So, what is dou phi by dou x? So, 4 2 is 8 x, differentiation of x square is 2 x. So, 4 into 2 x will be 8 x y dou phi by dou x. So, there is no x term here, therefore, it will be 0 into i, right. Dou phi by dou x is this plus dou phi by dou y. Dou phi by dou y is again, there is no y term here, it will be 4 x square j, 8 x y i plus 4 x square j plus dou phi by dou z into k. What is the differentiation of this? Partial derivative 4 z cube. Differentiation of because there is no z here, there is no z here. We have to differentiate only this term into k. Just observe. So, this is grad phi 1 that is normal to the surface, right. At what point we need to evaluate? 1 minus 1, 2. 1 minus 1, 2. So, let us substitute. So, what you get? x is equal to 1, y is minus 1. Therefore, it becomes totally minus 8. I just observe x is 1, y is minus 1. So, this will become minus 8 i plus 4 x square j, 4 x square is 1. So, it becomes 4 j plus 4 z cube. What is z cube? 2 cube is 8. 8 4 is 32 k. Just observe this. We are just evaluating grad phi 1 at this point. So, this is one vector. So, keep it here. Now, what is the next thing we need? Grad phi 1 dot grad phi 2. So, for phi 2 we need grad. Okay. I will just find here. So, what will be your grad phi 2? Grad phi 2 will be again differentiate this. So, what do you get? 6 into x square. Differentiate of x square is 2x. So, it will be 12 x. See, observe. Again, there is x here. So, differentiation of that will be 1. So, which is just observe 12 x minus 9, then plus dou phi by dou y. So, y is present only in the this term. So, the differentiation of this term will be minus z into j, okay. Dif dou phi by dou y, dou phi 2 by dou y plus dou phi 2 by dou z. So, z is not present here, z is not present here. But to differentiate only this, what you get? Minus y into k, right. So, this is grad phi 2. Now, what we have to find out? We have to evaluate grad phi 2, grad phi 2 at what point? The point is given as 1 minus 1, 2. So, let us substitute there. 
So, at x is equal to 1, 12 minus 9 is 3 i minus the value of z is 2. So, minus 2 j then minus the value of y is minus 1. So, minus already there is one minus sign. So, it becomes plus 1 into k. So, this is our next vector, right. So, what we have grad phi 1 into grad phi 2, this is grad phi 2. So, what we are proving? We are showing that these two surfaces intersect at 90 degree orthogonally. So, the condition is what? You have to show that the dot product between these two vectors, the dot product between these two vectors is equal to 0. So, we got grad phi 1, grad phi 2. So, let us take the, let us take the dot product, okay. So, therefore, therefore, grad phi 1 dot grad phi 2, the dot product between these two vectors, okay. So, just observe. So, what do you get? So, we have to multiply the corresponding coefficients minus 8 into 3, 8 3 is a 24 minus 24 plus plus into minus this is minus minus 8, 8 2 is how much? 16 minus 16 just check minus 8 into 3 is minus 24, 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 then 32 into 1 that is plus 32 correct. So, what do you get here? So, so, it will be somewhere uh, some, some uh, calculations there. So, it has to get cancelled, it has to become 0. Somewhere we are uh, that calculation you should check, okay. So, it is actually it becomes 40, right. So, somewhere the calculation, please check that and correct, okay. So, somewhere uh, that if derivative, okay. So, what you have to show finally, you have to show that actually somewhere the ma marks is on average here, okay. Please check this, it, you have to get it as 0. So, what is the condition for? What is the condition for to show that grad phi 1 and grad phi 2 is uh, uh, this and that is uh, the surfaces are normal, it is enough if you show their dot product between these two curves are surfaces are equal to what 0, right. Now, so this will be uh, what you call the end of that particular unit where you learnt only these of uh, these problems, right. So, uh, with this uh, I thank you.